Okay, in this video I'm going to show you a little modification that helps get uh, cut out a lot of the noise on these little USB RTL SDR radio receivers. So if you don't know, you can get these for like 10 bucks on eBay, Amazon. It's made to be like a little TV tuner that they use in Asia. It won't work in America with our TV signals, I mean. But if you don't have to take it apart either. You can just plug it right in the USB port on your computer. I'm assuming you know a little bit about these. Anyway, the modification I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this back plate off. I'm going to leave the bottom cover on it. And I've got this box here that I drilled a hole in. And I just have this antenna on here. This is just an antenna I had laying around. I think it came off of a like a 2.5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi router. But I'm just going to use this connector so I can hook on to different antennas. But for now, I'll just try this little thing. These, little, uh, these come with a teeny tiny antenna that doesn't really do very good. Anyway, so I've got this metal box and I'm hoping that this the metal from this box with this cover plate is going to shield out a lot of the noise and help get a cleaner signal out of this. So I've got this antenna wire here. I'm just going to strip it back and solder it right to the pin on this. This is the antenna cable that it comes with. The antenna connector. So I'm going to be soldering it right onto there. Uh, then I will just, I have this USB extension cord. I'm just going to plug right into it. And then I'll, I'll run this through. Actually, I've got a black one that I'm going to cut in half. Just so I don't have to drill any holes in this box. And I'll run it through this little hole here on the side. Where am I at? Uh, and then that way this will just have this box will have a cord coming right out of it. I'll plug that into the computer and we'll see if that cuts down on the interference. Okay, so this uh, antenna cable, you just got to separate it out. So it has the center conductor. There's a center pin in there if I can get the camera to focus on it. There you go. So it's going to go right to this part of the board, right to that middle. And then the braided part is going to go to one of these four corners. I'm just going to, I've got my soldering iron already, I'm just going to solder that on there, um, and then I'll, all I have to do is get the uh, USB cable in there and we should be good to go. So, I did a kind of okay job getting that soldered on there, um, not too difficult, and then this I'm just going to pull through, This these holes are already here in the box, so I'm going to pull this USB cable. It's just a USB extender. Like I had a female end and a male end. So I just cut it. This is actually an earlier project I did. But I just used it for something else. So I'll pull this all the way through here. Then I'll just connect the uh, device to it. There's a couple I thought about, because I could have just soldered right on to those instead of having this, but I thought I might I don't know want to reuse this somewhere else in a different application so I just left it like this alright then I'll wedge the whole thing down in here if I can get it in without having too much pressure on it there we go and I don't know if I want to ground the I may want to ground the device to this metal box, or I may want to ground this metal box. I don't want to ground the device to this box, but I may want to ground the box to like an electrical ground. So there's that. Then I just have to reconnect this end for the USB because of the way I did it. And then uh, I'll put the cover on here. This can actually get covered up right now. I think everything's good to go in there. So I'll just put the cover on. And this is just a regular outlet. Uh, electrical junction box. You can get this whole setup at Home Depot for like a dollar fifty or two dollars. And like I said, I just stole the antenna off of an old Wi-Fi router that wasn't working. And these cables are a couple bucks on eBay or Amazon. Okay, I'll plug it in and show you how it uh, works. So, this is the box right here. And uh, I've got this USB cable out, got it all put back together, got my antenna on, and I put this cover on the front of the box. So that's just it. It's just a metal electrical box with an antenna on it. And then this end is plugged into my computer. And I will show you here on uh, HD SDR. 
looks like. So that is this here. Like, to take out the antenna. Oops. There we go. We can change the frequency here. Anyway, that's it. Um, I the program I was looking for SDR Sharp. I guess I have been out of the SDR field for a while, but I was looking for um, SDR Sharp. But I guess it's been taken down. It's not really freely available anymore. So I'm using S, uh, HD SDR, and I'm really not too familiar with it. It still is pretty messy. I'm gonna do some playing around with this box. Maybe ground it. There's a lot of stuff in here, like all this different noise that I'm going to try and uh, see if I can change the settings and get rid of that, or maybe modify the adapter. Although what I'm going to do next um, is probably get an actual SDR uh, radio. They've got some on eBay in the $50 range. I'll get one that's more geared towards actually being an SDR radio instead of like a hack like this one. But I uh, appreciate you watching this video. Go ahead and comment below. Ask for questions if you have them. And uh, maybe I'll do, once I get more familiar with HDSDR, I'll do a video on how to set it up and how to use it. Because I couldn't find any good YouTube videos uh, for that uh, when I was looking around. So I might make one of those, so check back off and see if I make one of those. Again, thanks for watching. I'm Rendon Ricks, and we'll catch you on the next video.